down slow. Morehead High School's showing a Bonnie and Clyde. Before we begin, 
we ask you to turn off your mobile devices. No photography or video recording, or the laws will be set on finding you. Be warned, this show is chock full of gun shooting, flashing lights, and haze in the air. Thank you and enjoy the show. and a devoted father to sweet Bonnie, who was baptized here just a few months ago on her 10th birthday. And now let us bow our heads in prayer. I wanna be her, I wanna be her, dressed in style like Clara. I can see me, can you see me? The main attraction at the picture show. Like Clara Bow, like Clara. I wanna live the life of an outlaw. I'm gonna be like Billy the Kid. And when the law has got me surrounded, no doubt, I'm gonna shoot my way out. There weren't a man alive to outdraw him. No barroom bully could stand a chance. He had the looks that everyone goes for. Me too. Billy, I want to be you. Bang, bang, you're dead. you've done. I hope you know how to lay eggs. I hope you know how to fry chicken. Uh, give me that. Go help your pa load the wagon. But I don't want to leave, pa. Why can't we stay? I don't own the land. And it ain't worth it for them to have me work it no more. You're gonna lack West Dallas. It's the devil's back porch. You watch that mouth of yours. I didn't give it that name, but that's what they call West Dallas. Well, with your father gone, we can't afford to stay in Rowena. But why here? Because Grandma Mary has been nice enough to take us in. God, this place is a shithole. I'll be ready, I'll be ready when I switch to Clara. Riding horses, going steady with the guy who owns a jazz bar. Bonnie! Deputy, please do not take him! He was just borrowing the bicycle from a store? Deputy, please! I'm this gonna the make a whole lot of money. First time you said it wasn't here. And he was here I you. won't count cents like Bye-bye and Pa. Witness to it. You 
I will wear Sunday clothes on a Tuesday, Sunday. No one will stand in my way. He's only 12! You can't put him in jail! I can throw him in juvenile detention. That'd be a step up for the damn town we're living in. You are too young to be married, Bonnie! I am 15, Mama! Getting married to Roy is not going to get you out of this bar. He promised we'd all move to California. And you think he can do that? He got me a publicity photo. It's nice. They say when you're a star in the movies, you get to keep the clothes you wear. Big stars make $30 a week. Jeez. I want to be her, I want to be her. Dressed in style like Clara. I can see me, can you see me? The main attraction at the picture show. Like Clara Bo, like Clara attraction at the picture show. Bang, bang, you're dead. Bang, bang, you're dead. Ain't nothing I can't do with a gun. Marvin Ivan Barrel, Clyde Chestnut Barrel, you both been found guilty on one count of burglary and two counts of auto theft. You are both here by sentence to two years at the McLennan County Jail. I'm gonna be the guy kids look up to They'll cut their hair the way I cut mine Capone was just like me when he started Some guy, he made it big And so will I it must be great to be called the It Capone Girl. Capone is that more to me than me. a hero. But one day soon, I'll bet you they will. I wanna Trust be like me. him. I, I wanna be, be her. like I Al Capone. He's not like Clara. Al Capone. I, I wanna be you. Me. Bang bang. Main attraction at the picture show. Bang bang. Like Clara Bo. Bang bang. Like Clara Bo, the main attraction. I wanna be like Al Sweet cheeks. Is it true that for the right price, a uh, fella can get themselves a little something not on the menu? <laughs> well, for the right price, a fella can get just about anything these days. You take an IOU? Go to hell. Hi, Bonnie. Hey, Ted. Apple pie and coffee? Thanks. Hey, listen. A friend of mine's throwing a party Saturday night. Bob Mayfield went to Cement City High School when we were there. Maybe you remember him? I don't think so. Thought maybe you'd like to go. Uh, sure. They're gonna be a piano? Pretty sure there's gonna be a whole band. <laughs> hey, Ted. Sheriff's on the phone. I'll pick you up Saturday at 7. A whole band. It must be great to be called the It Girl. That isn't what they're calling me. But one day soon I'll bet you they will. <laughs> Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Hey, engine trouble? Engine trouble, tire trouble, oil trouble! Well, looks like me and you got the same car. Goes through oil like a preacher through whiskey, huh? Uh, uh, yeah. Hey, how about I see if I can uh, fix you up? And then maybe you can give me a lift into West Dallas. Uh, sure, <laughs> thanks. You live in the Devil's Back Porch? Uh, not for much longer. I've never known anybody moved out of West Dallas. Well, you do now. Claude Barrow. Bonnie Parker. My, you got a beautiful smile. <laughs> but I bet you hear that all the time. Why, yes, I do. Hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you moving to? Yep, anywhere I want. Just like the legendary Billy the Kid. Billy the Kid? Uh, but he was an outlaw. Why, yes, he was. And wasn't Billy the Kid ambushed and killed by some sheriff? No, he wasn't ambushed. He died an old man in the arms of a young lady. I'm pretty sure he was gunned down and I'm in some hotel you, room. It don't even matter. I got plans. Everybody's got plans. Oh, everybody's got dreams. 
I got plans. The men in this town live and die and are forgotten And it doesn't seem to scare them I can't wait to get away Away from the drought and the homeless and the hungry Where they talk about foreclosures every hot and dusty day I don't intend to waste my life round here I got it all mapped out I can pull just three jobs a year I'll be rich, I'll have wealth and fame Everyone will know my name Pull three jobs? What does that mean? What do you think it means? Just like Billy the Kid and Mr. Capone Every kid will idolize Clyde Barrow <laughs> One thing, young lady, I guarantee Is that this world will remember me Yes, this world will remember me. Don't you think it's time that she lost that egg stained apron and wore something made of satin from a fine Manhattan store? Yes, I can see you in a car with your own driver. You are headed to your penthouse that will overlook the shore. Your face should be up on the silver screen. You got that it girl look. I can't believe that you see that in me I always knew I'd be a star, how intelligent you are We are wasted round here, we're too good for this place We weren't born to live and die in Texas This is my plan, there's no plan B And this world will remember me You and this world will remember Are those cops looking for you? Well, me and my brother did just bust out of jail, so probably. I... Hey, I I'm not looking for any trouble. Look, you don't gotta worry about me just because I've been in jail. I know plenty of men who've been to jail. Well, how many you know? Bust it out. What were you in for? Robbery, auto theft, a few things. I like to keep busy. <laughs> So, what do you say? Will you give me a lift into West Dallas? Uh, the police are looking for you. They ain't never gonna find me. By this time tomorrow, I'll be 500 miles away. I just wanna see my folks before I go. Okay. You and this world will remember me. Crazy, busting out of jail. Hey, and now, baby. Don't you now, baby, me? How in God's name could you let Clyde talk you into fugitive in? It, it was my idea. Yours? Yep. How could you go and do this? Here I am, praying my heart out they shorten your sentence. Well, then your prayers are answered. Now, this made it real short. <laughs> Shit. Oh my God. I'm leaving. You, shit. You, get up. Come on, give, give me your bib. Make a scene, hurry up, lady, come on. Everyone, just act natural. I was never here. Hey, uh, Perks. Evening, ladies. Evening, Sheriff. <laughs> I'm here about your husband, Marvin, AKA Buck Barrow. You heard from him? Oh, not since he went and got himself arrested. I have no room for a man like that in my life. You'll find him sitting in McLennan County Jail. No, you won't. What? He should be sitting there, but he ain't. What? Your husband and his brother got in their heads to escape. What? <laughs> if you see him or know anything of his whereabouts, you call the Dallas County Sheriff's Office straight away. You hear? Of course. <laughs> you have a good evening. Sorry to interrupt your hair doings. <sighs> Babe! 
baby, baby, you're fantastic. You're having a heart attack, Buck. They're not going to stop looking. They never do. That's right. They're going to get them. They won't find me if we go away someplace. Maybe, uh, uh, maybe New Mexico. How romantic. How beautiful. They're going to get them. You're always talking about wanting to go to New Mexico. Start fresh. This wouldn't be going to New Mexico. It'd be running from West Dallas. You've got a point. Still out here, New Mexico's real nice. Yeah. They're gonna get you. <laughs> you wanna be like your brother? Always running from the law, always looking over your shoulder. I love you, Daddy. I love you more than life itself, but we cannot start fresh like that. You tell him, Blair. Mm -hmm. Amen. We start fresh when you are free in the eyes of the law and saved in the eyes of God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We can't spend our whole lives hiding. Buck! That ain't no way to live. It is time to wipe the slate clean. Ask the good Lord to forgive. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You've got to serve your sentence without fail. Buck, you are going back to jail. Oh, baby, what the hell are you talking Don't about? Don't be scared to turn a corner or to open our front door. When you're on the side of justice, you ain't nervous of the law. Now pull yourself together because you've gone pale. Yes, Buck, you're going back to jail. Yeah, but baby, you don't know what it's like in there. It's hard to share a cell when you've got nothing to look at except prisoners who smell. But when you're done, when you have served your time, we'll still be young and in our pride. Ain't been free more than a minute. Ain't had time to change my shirt. I've been dreaming of a hot meal with you as my dessert. Bring your face close to mine and just let me inhale. Buck, you are going back to jail. Yeah, baby. We will call the sheriff and tell him you're turning yourself in right after church tomorrow. Blame. It's going to be just as hard on me, Daddy. Stella, you have a husband in jail. Tell him how hard it is not having Carl around. Are you kidding? It's a treat to get my nails done and have time to read a book. Sure beats washing out his long jones. It's a pleasure not to okay, cook. Thank God those prison walls are much too tall to scale. My darling's nice and safe in jail. Yeah, baby, I don't want her coming around here no more. Trisha's husband's been in jail for two years now, and she is miserable without her man. At first I really missed him. I thought I would waste away. Then I met this boy from Tucson, and he yelled to Chevrolet. He had a lot of things that my Joe lacked, like teeth and hair and cash to be exact. I now got lots of habits I can't curtail. I gotta keep him locked in jail. other women. I will wait till kingdom come. I want the world to see that I ain't married to some bum. It will be hard for us, but we'll come through. I can't believe what you are asking me to do. One thing's for certain, our love won't go stay. Uh, Jesus, close your eyes. Bunch, I ain't going back. Yes, but you're going back. Tomorrow he'll be back in jail. So I figure the first thing we do is hit some place at the payroll gas station, grocery store. Can't do nothing without cash. Once I get that, I hightail it to another state. Maybe in the Northeast. Cops can't cross state lines. And they ain't gonna be looking for me in a place like Ohio or New York. After that, I'm a free man. I can do whatever I want. And you know what? What? You're gonna come with me. <laughs> what makes you say that? Oh, just the smile. <laughs> just because I'm smiling doesn't mean- I was talking mean... about mine. <laughs> 
I should get home. And you want to see your folks? Oh, that can wait. Hey, what are you writing? Poem. Well, what kind of poem? Kind that's going to be published. Wow. Yeah, you're going to see my face in the movies and my poets in the magazines. Poetry by Bonnie Parker. And a beautiful picture of me to go alongside it. Uh, like this one. That's what you call a glamour shot. Well, this is the most beautiful picture I've ever seen in my whole life. <laughs> it's pretty old now. I gotta get a new one. And a nice hat. I look good in hats. I got a hat face. <laughs> well, why don't you read me a poem? You like poetry? When it's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> well, okay. <clears throat> Billy rode on a pinto horse. Billy the Kid, I mean. Oh, I love Billy the Kid. I know. Oh. <laughs> and he met Clyde Barrow riding in a little gray machine. Wait. You're writing about me? You're writing poetry about me? Oh, you are so in love, sugar. <laughs> Billy said to the barrel boy, is this the way you ride? In a Ford sedan? Are you billet? gonna interrupt me every line? Uh, I'm sorry. I can't read if you're gonna do no, that. I completely there's understand. a rhythm, there's a flow yes. to these I'm things. I'm sorry. I appreciate the enthusiasm, hey, but hey, my lips are sealed. Billy said to the barrel boy, is this the way you ride in a car that does its 90 per machine guns at each side? Yeah. I only had my six gun tried and true. I could shoot, but they got me. And someday they will get you. Now what are you writing that for? Now that's a lousy thing to write. It's dramatic. It's stupid. Don't you call my poetry stupid. Well, it is when you write stuff like that. Oh, you don't know I know they ain't never gonna find I'm me. Gonna be I know I'm poetry gonna be so far gone from this don't miserable you place that no one will ever find me. And then I'm gonna be in trouble. My own job is mine. Man, I want you right now. <laughs> Should have thought of that before you called my poetry stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh at me. Oh, I'm sorry, Don't sugar. you ever laugh at me. I am going to be famous for my poetry and my acting and my singing. Oh, singer, huh? Well, let's hear something. I'm not in the mood. Oh, come on, sugar. I want to hear you sing. Unless that's also about me getting shot up. <laughs> come on. You're in a nightclub in that there Atlantic City. Me and Capone are sitting ringside. The crowd is going crazy. Bonnie, Bonnie, Bonnie. How about a dance? What do you say? I got some moves that I'd love to show ya. That's nice. Let's find a spot and dance the night away. This is one of my favorites. How about a dance? It's always fun. Come over here. Let me get to know ya. Can't beat a band to lift your spirits high. You look so handsome. How about a dance? Let's make a start.
Mama's home? Uh, it's me, Mama! Why didn't you tell me that what you What on mom's... earth are... Who are you? Uh, Mama, this is Claude Barrow. He's a cousin of my friend Charlene's. Evening, Mrs. Parker. And what are you doing in my house this time of the evening? Well, I... Uh, he's on his way to Ohio to begin a job in Printon. Printon, huh? Yes, ma'am. Not many men have a job these days. Oh, no, ma'am. You should consider yourself very lucky. Oh, I do. Hey, uh, who plays the uke? My husband did. God rest his soul. Oh, man. <laughs> That's nice. Where'd you learn to play? Uh, a boy taught me when me and my family lived under the viaduct. You lived in one of those camps? Uh, Pa was a sharecropper over in Henderson County when the land dried up. We left our farm, headed for Dallas, and lived under a tent in the Oak Cliff Viaduct for near three years. Well, Clyde, you may sleep on the sofa. There is an extra sheet in the bedroom, and I am afraid we don't have an extra blanket or a pillow. Oh, that's all right. Bonnie, I will expect you up very shortly. Yes, Mama. Almost immediately. Mama. Your husband will be home, you know. You got a husband? Baby! Well, that's something you should tell a fella. I had a husband. Went to jail about three years ago. Still there? No. Just not interested in being a husband. Is that really what you want to talk about right now? You expecting anybody? No. Oh, shoot. It's the laws. Meet me over in Harrison, okay? Eight o'clock, okay? <laughs> and, uh, whistle or throw something at the second floor window on the corner, okay? Uh, Ted! What are, what are you doing here? Following some leads on a prison break. Since I was in the neighborhood, I figured I'd stop by, you know, and make sure you and your ma are okay. We're fine. Thanks, Ted. Jeez. Last time I was in this house was when your grandma died. That was a long time ago. You know, that was the first time I ever saw a dead body. I mean, she was wearing lots of makeup and all, but you could still see she was dead. I hated seeing her like that. And I remember how we both hid under your front porch. Eating buttermilk pie. <laughs> and playing cards. <laughs> so, uh, I'll pick you up Saturday at 7. Uh, Ted. And keep this door locked, all right? All right, Ted. I am going to miss that over the next eight months. My daddy, you hush that mouth of yours. And Tom, your weight is going to fly by. You'll see. And I'll work. The salon's still busy. No matter how bad things get, women always find money for their hair. Eleanor's kids haven't seen real milk in over a year, but that woman gets her color done every two months. <laughs> I love you, Blanche. I love you, daddy. What in God's name? It's Clyde. Marvin, Ivan, Barrow, your use in our home is a criminal rendezvous point. Oh, come on, Blanche, it's just Clyde. Which makes this a criminal rendezvous point. I want him out of here as fast as possible, you hear? Oh, come on, he's my brother. That man puts the hell in hello. You're like children with their flying bottles and secret knocks. <laughs> hey, <laughs> you okay? Oh, I'm fine. You look like shit. <sighs> Slept in the woods. Hey, uh, you see the papers today? Uh, no. Buck and Clyde on borrowed time. Now what the hell does that even mean? It means we're on the front page headline, right alongside Al Capone. <laughs> Dang! Remember when we saw Capone riding through town? Middle of the afternoon? In a white Model T Roadster. That's gonna be us, Buck. <laughs> Riding through the open road in a Model T. 
Why you ever see those MGs over in Europe? They got a speed gear box that can go 65 miles per hour. Dang! Ain't no car too smart for me. Got the whole thing figured out. Two door hardtop Model T, limousine or runabout. <laughs> Put me behind the wheel and stand well back like a cracker jack. I'll get your heart pumping. Ain't no car that you can drive. I would bet my life on that. Hot rod roadster pickup truck, 40 miles in nothing flat. Ain't nothing better than to drive through town with a throttle down. Watch the old folk jump in. <laughs> Stop tugging at my sleeve. Just hold your nerve. Give me a full tank and an open road. And watch me explode. Look at me, I'm driving. When I drive, when I drive, I'm in love, I'm alive. And I forget about everything I hate. When you drive, when you drive, life just flies when you drive. We are the heroes who the people look up to and brother that feels great i can float i can float i can fly i can fly this is hell this is hell i wanna live i wanna die i'm in love i'm in love i'm alive i'm alive when i <laughs> oh, she's here. Who's here? Clyde. Is he gone? I think he's coming back. Why? Uh, he went to get some girl. A girl? Well, that's what he said. When on earth did Clyde find time to meet some tart? Uh, Bonnie. Excuse me. Bonnie, this here is my brother, Buck. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Oh, and Buck. This here is Bonnie Parker. Nice meeting you. Ahem. Ahem. Oh, and uh, that's my sister-in-law, Blanche. Pleasure. Oh, man. So how you feeling, Buck? You feeling strong? Why? I got some ideas. What kind of ideas? Ideas that are gonna get you out of this dump. Uh, no offense, Blanche. Buck. I figure the first place we start is a place with a pay room. Buck! Gas station. What is your problem, woman? Tell him. Tell me what? I, uh, I kind of got my own plans. Well, let's hear them. Well, uh, you see, I'm, uh, am I going back to, uh, prison? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're going back to where? <laughs> I'm going back to, uh, I, I swear, it sounds Your like he's saying- Your brother's gonna go back and finish his sentence, and if you had any sense, you'd do the same. Buck, what the hell is she talking about? Well, Blanche decided, and me, the, the both of us, that it'd be best for me to go back. I'm gonna finish my sentence. But hey, we can drive after that. Oh, I feel like I'm losing my mind here. Me and Blanche, we, we want to start fresh. No running, no hiding, no- Bottles flying in through windows. Maybe you could go back too. I mean, how long would it Going be? Going back ain't what I do. It's the only way to wipe the slate clean. <laughs> you can wipe all you want, Blanche. Ain't never gonna be clean. It don't make no difference what we do. They've been arresting us since we was kids. You've been stealing since you was kids. Even when we didn't. Well, that is true. How many times they come by our tent and haul us in for no damn reason? Plenty. When I worked over at Mason's. For a week. The cops come by and pat me down. Right in front of the customers. Now how's a man supposed to keep a job, huh? It don't make no difference what we do. The laws are gonna keep coming after us. Not if you seek forgiveness. The sheriff don't give a rat's ass about no forgiveness. Forgiveness from the Lord, Claude. That is the only way to truly set yourself free. I ain't never gonna be set free, Blanche. Freedom is something I gotta steal. Now what's it gonna be, Buck?
I'm going back, Clyde. I want to start fresh. <laughs> yeah, and what are you going to do when you get out? What, you going to come back here? Oh, and work doing what? Picking up scrap metal for three cents a load? Yeah, or maybe, maybe with Pa at the gas station, huh? Praying somebody rich enough to still own a car stops in. Yeah, and what are you going to eat, huh? I'm going to be in control of my own damn life, living the way I want, out on the open road. Now you have yourself a nice time locked up in that cage. Let's go, sugar. Maybe your brother has the right idea. Maybe go. My brother back. can do what he wants. Clyde Barrow ain't never gonna step foot in a prison ever again. So maybe we go someplace else. We wanted to get out of Dallas anyways. You could find a job someplace and work. I want you to be a man, honey, not a thug. Don't you ever talk to me that way, sugar. <coughs> Don't you ever raise a hand to me, baby. My advice for you, stay far away from that man. Don't look at me like that, Daddy. You know I'm right. If the man wants to descend to the depths of hell, he doesn't have to bring anyone else down there with him. Not you, not me, not that poor misguided trash he picked up last night. I thought you said it was wrong to judge. That wasn't a judgment. It was an observation. God's arms are always open. He'll not turn you away. He is there to lead the way for night and day God's arms are always open Your voice is always heard Even though your prayers are silent prayers He hears every word No one needs to feel alone Turn to Him and when Wash your sins away. This is the time for some jubilation. Come to Him today. God doesn't speak a retribution. Everyone's soul is saved. He will forgive even those who misbehave. Under the chains that you tied around you, your hands hold the key. Your hands hold. You're gonna feel things that will astound you. Soon you will be free. Soon you will be free. Be proud to join his congregation. Take a walk in the sun. Come on, join his congregation. Always open. You've got to run. run to him. He holds the key. He holds the key. No more retribution. God's arms. No, no. God's arms. Put the keys on the seat, sir, and step away from the car. I do not want to have to use his gun, sir, but I am telling you, I will blow your... Are those seats leather? Dang, that is a beautiful car. You are one lucky fella. I mean, you know, until now. <laughs> God's arms, God's arms are always open. open. You've got to run. run to him. He'll set you free. Set you free. Would you look at that dress? Bonnie is going to love that dress. Put it in the bag. Come on, come on. 
Hey, you got a gift card? To Bonnie. I can't wait to rip this off of you. <laughs> God's arms, they're always open. You gotta run. He'll set you free. God's arms, they're always open. You gotta run. He holds the key. Come on, children. Come on, children. Hands in the air. Finger off the trigger, son. Now place the gun on the ground. Step away from the weapon. Cuff him. God's arms always open. God's arms always open. God's arms always open. God's arms always open. Yeah. bedroom a nice soft blue, not too feminine. There ain't gonna be no work, Blanche. We'll get by. You'll find something. You're doing what? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll, we'll find a way. The good Lord I Screw will. the good Lord. Buck. The good Lord ain't done nothing for nobody I know. And he's been letting the guards kick the shit out of Clyde. Well, the good Lord better than anybody knows that Clyde needs a good shit kicking. <sighs> And you swear you're being faithful to me, Trish. I swear. If I ever found out you cheated on me. Honey, I promise you will never find out that I cheated on you. Bonnie? Uh, Ted. You missed some party Saturday night. I am so sorry. I've been meaning to come by the diner this week, but I've been busy as hell. Evictions mostly. Thought maybe you'd want to make it up to me. Ted. Let me take you out to dinner tomorrow night. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't think I can. Well, what are you doing here? Just visiting somebody. Who? Clyde Barrow. Uh, Clyde Barrow? You know him? He's a friend of a friend. I don't know who your friend is, but I can tell you that Barrow is a bad seed. You do yourself a favor and keep a good distance. Thanks for the advice, Ted. Bonnie, <laughs> how are you doing, sugar? How am I doing? Kind of miserable without you. I can't think about nothing but you. I'm so sorry you have to go through this, sugar. When you get out of here, you're going straight, you understand? I got a friend up in Worcester, Mass. He does construction. I would go anywhere on this earth with you, baby. And if that don't work out, they got places to rob up there just like here. No. No more holdups. We are going to start clean. <sighs> okay, sugar. I brought you a picture. I give you fair warning. He's no bed of roses, sweet Bonnie. I can't see him finding the time to raise children. Hell no. He's wild and he's reckless. In nothing but trouble, you're better without him. You think hard, sweet Bonnie, and then you should think once again. We both know you can do better than him. Why, you deserve some. Who's there all the time? Someone who thinks crime don't pay. I still see the snowy white dress that you wore. Playing the angel in some dumb school play. For a while I thought 
that you would fly away I still see the apple cheek girl that you were find someone who people respect a man who is rich and smart someone who's known in all the right places and knows the good book by heart but Tomorrow, Blanche. Pray the good Lord brings my daddy home to me tomorrow. I will. Blanche? What? Well, I... I just hate to see you get hurt, honey. Oh, I, I'm that not That gonna... husband of yours has been in and out of jail ten times. Seven. All I'm saying is something's bound to happen. I asked you to pray, Eleanor. Not to judge. If you can't do that. I'm sorry. Charlie says he's only gonna be able to keep me on a new few weeks. There aren't enough- Margaret Cummings said she saw you get on a bus to Eagle Rock yesterday. Where did you go? Uh, must have been someone else. Someone who looks like me. No, she was sure it was you. I really don't Why see... are you lying to me, Bonnie? What is so awful that is causing my daughter to lie to her mama? I'm in love, mama. You are married. You and me both know Roy ain't never coming back, and I wouldn't want him if he did. How'd you meet a boy lives in Eagle Rock? He doesn't live there. He's just staying there for a short time. There's nothing in Eagle Rock except the... Bonnie Parker. You are flirting with a con. I'm not flirting. What is going through your I love life? him, Mom. You love who? Who do you love? Clyde Barrow. Clyde Barrow. The boy who spent the night at our home? You said he was headed up north to a job. I love him, Mom. You don't know him. And what you do know ain't so good. I do know him. I know everything. He's I... a convict you met a few months ago. You always said you and Daddy was love at first sight. Do not compare some convict to your father. Your Daddy was a fine, upstanding citizen, and he was a good father to you and a good husband to me. Don't you ever compare your Daddy to a convict. I will see you at home. I know my heart Don't care what people say All I know is that I've never felt like this 
And besides, I wouldn't change him if I could No man's all good I always knew what I was taking on But I always felt that I could change his ways Even if my man Marvin Ivan Barrow, the court has reviewed your record, and for turning yourself back in and for good behavior, you shall be released into the custody of your wife, Blanche Caldwell Barrow. Amen! Amen! Daddy! <laughs> Clyde Chestnut Barrow, you have been found guilty seven counts of robbery were $50, and are sentenced to receive two years on each count. What does that mean? Plus an additional two years for your escape. I don't understand. For a total of 16 years at the East Ham Penitentiary. No. No. Ma, you get off of her. No, my boy, do not hurt my baby. I'm sorry, Ma. Take him. I love you, baby. I love you too, sugar. I think this sends a strong message out that in these hard times, criminal behavior of any kind will not be tolerated. Clyde Barrow will be serving 16 years hard labor at East Ham Penitentiary. You look beautiful. I don't feel beautiful. I don't feel anything but sad. You are making the right decision. It has been six months since that hoodlum of yours- Stop calling him that! Has been in jail. I will never love anybody else the way I love Clyde, Mama. Honey, you thought your daddy was the first man I ever fell in love with? Before I was your mama, I was a girl. But even I understood that love can be blind, and in this life you need to see clearly. You need to find a stable and responsible young man who can provide for you all the things you deserve, darling. And then love, real love, comes from that. 
I'm too young for a brooch, Mama. This brooch belonged to your grandmother. That is my point. <laughs> you are making the best decision. The heart is not always right, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Hey, Ted. I like your brooch. Keep him away from me. Who? Ed Crowder. Well, he seems like a nice enough fella to me. He's a model inmate. Please, you know what he's doing to me! Ed Crowder is just being friendly. He lacks you. You should take that as a compliment. I can't take no more of this. This nightmare has to end In this God-forsaken place Death would be a welcome friend I could pay a crooked guard to kill me Yeah, that's it Better that than 16 years dying slowly Oh, bit by bit all I did was rob a few stores Just to see you don't fit the crime I've been broken by the devil Just to see is a waste of time I won't get to heaven why not raise a little hill? Hey, Clyde, your other girlfriend's here to see you. Oh my God, what happened to your face? What's going on? Can I do something? Can I complain? Does somebody help him? Listen, the gas station, there's a gun hidden under the porch. What seems to be the problem? Look at him. Yeah, heard he took a pretty bad fall down the stairs to the yard. That doesn't happen from a fall. That doesn't happen by accident. Visiting time is over. <gasps> hey, I'll take care of this. You just get me what I asked for. Get your hands off of me. I'm coming by here every day. Every day. I'll be back to get you later. Ed Crowder wants to see you again. But it's the last time that filthy scum has got to go. But tonight it will be over when I strike the fatal blow. No way out. I got to do this. Him or me. Okay, let's play. Never care. But now I have to Time to make that crowd a pay I won't get to heaven Why not raise a little hell No way I'll see heaven So let's raise a little There's a pair of shoes and a Bible. Thanks. I don't know what he'd do without you. You're the one ray of sunshine in his whole life. Who 
would have thought that a waitress from Rowena would have had the balls to bust me out with my old 45. And who would have thought that a farm boy from Toledo could outsmart the smartest lawmen and walk out of here alive. Stop! Give me the bag! Wait a minute, I have to search you! You done? No! You're having yourself a nice time! Get your hands up! What's this? My mama doesn't like me smoking. You got five minutes. My name is gonna make the history books. Too bad I won't be here. I may have started out with small time crooks. In a year or two, I'll be as known. As Chicago's Al Capone Bye, baby See you soon, sugar Thanks to you, bunny babe I can make plans again I got lots of reasons to keep living <laughs> It's true that love can set you free And this world will remember me Get out! Drop the keys! <laughs> Jailbreak! What do you mean she's gone? She's headed to Utah. When? Last night. With who? A friend. Who? I don't know. Clyde Barrow? No. No, that boy's in prison. No, he's not. He busted out. You said you'd go straight. Clyde, I want to be in movies. I can't name one movie star who's doing robberies on the side. I know in my heart, babe, that Hollywood is calling. How can I be in the spotlight if we always have to hide? We'll need some dough to get to Hollywood. One or two jobs should do But after that we will be done for good Babe, when Hollywood gets hold of you They'll be saying Clara who Blanche, look at this! Front page! What? They did it again! Claude busted out! Son of a gun! I have no interest in your brother's doings It don't make sense How else did Clyde Barrow get a gun smuggled in? I don't know, but Bonnie's not a criminal I know her, I'm telling you she's innocent So where is she? Her ma said she went to Utah And that's your proof? She's a good girl, straight A student, she's got a job It don't make sense She's the only one who could have done it But I know her Maybe you don't Damn! Clyde Barrow, someone got a gun pulled into his set, pulled it on the guard, and demanded that he be set free. He's free, Blanche. He's a fugitive. They ain't never gonna catch him. No one drives like Clyde. Dang, he's famous. No need to rush, everybody gets our autographs. I'll never ride over the words on our epitaphs. <laughs> to live in legends, that's what we will be. And that's okay with me. Every place at the Ovals will turn their heads. They'll be hollering from Dodge to Denver. They are the pair that will discuss. Yes, this world will remain.
man run, make a blind <laughs> I don't care how hard the hardship, no one has the right to steal. And you cannot buy your soul back, God don't make that kind of deal. When your prayers all go unanswered, and the dust is getting worse, and you live near open sewers with just pennies in your purse, that is when the good Lord will become your savior. He will lead you to the light. We are all God's children, his arms always open. We must all do what is right. We may be in debt, wake up in a sweat, but let's not forget we were made sit in the car while you hold up the store, right? Yeah, and keep the engine running. Oh my God, I'm nervous. Well, maybe you shouldn't be doing this. Wait, did you ever see that one movie, uh, Shadow of the Law? No. Clara Bow has no choice but to join a criminal gang, so she pretends to go crooked, but really, she's just carefully- Bonnie! Okay, I'm ready now. <laughs> you can't blame on the blame on the names, their fault they turn to crime. A bar of soap's a luxury, don't get much change from a dime. You can't blame those kids for wanting to fill up their shopping bags. City Hall is low on kindness, but it don't run out of flags. They both grew up hungry, they were heading nowhere thanks to good old USA. All who sin must answer, and these two will answer. They will face the judgment. Have you heard from your brother? I got a letter. Him and Bonnie are all right. Now make sure you burn it. What the hell was he thinking? Busting out of prison again? Hey, Clyde ain't never gonna stay in prison. Papers say he's been robbing again. Pa, folks are calling him a hero. Sure, they robbed some men, and they will again. Poor kids of a day, they were made in America. They had holes in every shoe. Nobody with their hands below their ears. Now everybody move it along over there. Not you. Okay, now you're gonna open this here cash register. Come on. All of it. Shut up. Think about Shut up. You got a safe? No. Are you sure? Under the register. Open it. Come on. I'm going as fast as I can. Move it. My hand is shaking. Move! And I shoot. Oh, jeez. Get your hands in the air, put the gun on the ground. Well, I can't put the gun on the ground if my hands are in the air. You know what I meant. Get your gun on the ground, then put your hands in the air. And what if I say no? Everybody out. Nobody moves. Seems like we got ourselves here a standoff. Drop the weapon. You really think you can pull that trigger? You really want to find now, out? I am going to walk on Not out of here. Gonna Listen happen. to me, deputy. Drop the gun.
scared the laugh out of me. Come to bed, baby. Clad? Clad, what's going on? Clad! Uh, look at me! I was, uh, holding up a grocery store over in Hillsboro. Easy money, you know. In and out. Nobody gets hurt. A grocery store. And this stupid idiot cop comes in and tries to be a hero. Clyde? He had his gun right on what me. What happened? I had no what time. What happened? No. No, no, Sugar, no, Sugar, no. it was him or me. I can't stay. Bonnie. I gotta get out now while I still can, while I'm still in the clear. Bonnie! The dream is done. It's over now. Gotta get me out of here. Don't say that. We're both in shock, we need to think this through It ain't my fault, I had no choice, nothing I could do With that bullet you shot him and you shot me Clyde, how stupid can you be? It's too late to turn the clock back, I would do it if I could We can talk about this forever, but it still won't do no good I wouldn't hurt you for the world, babe, but we'll get through this somehow I'll get through this cause I'm leaving, not too late to turn back now Thought I'd sign with MGM, I won't see that dream die I don't give a damn about MGM, <laughs> now don't you say goodbye how can you think of leaving? Get those thoughts out of your head. You ain't going nowhere. Glad I meant what I said. You come here right now, show me that funny smile. Babe, I need to see that smile. It's too late to say I'm sorry. It's too late for all of that. We cannot change what has happened Let's face what we're looking at You got every right to be mad But let's move on anyhow We were born to be together It's too late to turn back I knew how I would make the headlines, but I wasn't sure just how. Feel my journey is just started. It's too late to turn it's back now. It's too late now. to turn back now. It's too late to turn back now. And then there's this grocery store down in Hillsboro I'm gonna hit. Easy money, in, out. Nobody gets hurt. Now I figure we can rob my first bank next week. I'm casing out a couple places. I will find a way to say you and the folks. Your brother, Clyde. Say what you want about Clyde, but he never forgets family. Well, maybe you could ask him to try harder. Don't you ever want it just a little bit, baby? Want what? All the things you can't have. I have everything that I want. And it pains me that you don't, Daddy. And I have everything I want, too. But there's still things I want. And I'd like to give you everything in this world. You stop that. I don't have room for everything in this world. A nice clothes, a someone doing your hair, a good food, a fine bed. I mean it, Daddy. Stop. Uh, just think how nice it'd be, baby. Buying anything you'd like. It's the American dream, sugar. I ain't interested in no American dream, Daddy. Just an ordinary life. Easy days and quiet nights. Lazy walks beside a stream. 
Now that's what you call a dream. Well, baby, you mean you we could no ideas and no big plans. Happy with the way things are. No one with a scam or scheme. Now that's what you call a dream. These dreams of yours make no sense at all. It's what's inside, not what's out there. We both could have a perfect life and not go anywhere. You miss a lot when you ask too much. You're all I need, not one thing more. Look, all I ever wanted is on this side. Hey, if that's the landlord, you, you, you tell him I'm not here. Good afternoon, Sheriff. Deputy, is there something we can help you with? We thought you might have some idea of your brother's whereabouts. I have no idea where Clyde is. He doesn't communicate with you? No. Two brothers get arrested together. Break out of prison together. Seems to me you boys are real close. I find it hard to believe you don't keep in touch. Like I said. Maybe a couple weeks in jail. No! Claude writes us is all. Did he tell you he killed my deputy? Oh, no. oh Lord have mercy. Uh -oh. Is Barney with him? Yes. I want the letters. I burn them after reading them. We could lock you up right now. And for what? Corresponding with the fugitive. He doesn't write back. You can't arrest a man for receiving mail. You hear from Clyde Barrow again. We want the letters. And you tell him I will not rest until I get him. And I will get him. Same as I'm gonna get you again one of these days. And go to hell! Look! No, oh my god, please no! He's a good man! He's a piece of shit! Just like his brother. <laughs> I have been worried sick about you. I'm okay, Ma. I'm okay. And Bonnie? We're okay. The paper said you killed a police officer. I don't know you anymore, do I? Not since you went to that prison. Yeah, it was him or me, Ma. It ain't safe for you to be here. The laws keep coming around. I just wanted to see y'all again. I don't think... We'll meet somewhere. I'll get the message to you and Paul. No. No. was always good enough for you, Pa. Hate to say ain't good enough for me. Plowing fields and planting seeds till your mind and body bleeds. No way. Up before down and you stop when you drop. 
Then you ask your God to forgive Praying for rain Without rain there's no crop This ain't no way to live What was always good enough for you, but Will not satisfy your wayward son Jesse James had much more fun Building dreams with just a gun That's how the West was won had its day depression and bread lines are all that tomorrow will bring Tell them, Claude. the bible has got it wrong just look at the poor babe the meek don't inherit a thing there ain't nothing good enough for us to Now, I don't want to see nobody with their hands below their ears. Wait, you're Clyde Barrow, and Bonnie Parker, ain't ya? Why, yes we are. Can I get your autograph? Uh, sure! <laughs> Tarchi, if you would. All the best, Bonnie and Clyde. Wait, why does your name come first? Bonnie and Clyde sounds better than Clyde and Bonnie. Clyde and Bonnie? Sounds just fine to me. Bonnie and Clyde rolls off the tongue better. There's a melody to it. Hey, Archie. Ugh. What do you think sounds better? Clyde and Bonnie or Bonnie and Clyde? Clyde and Bonnie. <laughs> Shoot, he's just saying that because you've got the gun. Now which do you like better? <sighs> See? We'll talk about this when we get home. Now, my partner is gonna approach the counter with a bag that I would like very much for you to fill with cash. Uh, I'm afraid I can't do that. Uh, do not see this gun here, mister. Well, I can't fill your bag with cash, because there isn't any. Well, this here's a bank, ain't it? Yes, but... So what the hell's going on here? The bank's closed. Well, then what are all these folks doing here? Trying to get our damn money. They're saying the bank is broke. I gotta feed my kids. Mm -hmm. Ain't a nickel in the drawers. So you're telling me I'm robbing a bank with no money? <laughs> Complaint forms are over there. <laughs> you own every piece of land in the county, everybody's home, everybody's damn farm. How can you have no money? Who are we gonna sell the farms to? No one can afford to buy them. Oh, I should shoot you right now. Come on, Clyde. What kind of stupidity? Come on, baby. I lived in a tent for three miserable years. Bank took the farms of nearly everybody I know. They took mine. 
no money, in a bank. <laughs> what the hell is this country coming to? Clyde's been shot. He, he's in trouble. Clyde is always in trouble. Clyde is always gonna be in trouble. He is not your responsibility, Buck. He's my brother. Maybe I can get him to stop running and come back. It is too late for Clyde. It's never too late. You taught me that. Don't you walk out that door. I gotta go, Blanche. You're not going because you want to bring Clyde back. There ain't nothing here for me. Come with me, baby. You walk out that door. It's over. I mean it. <sighs> Ow. Uh, ah. I'm okay. I'm okay. Ah! I can't do it! Get a good, firm grip on the bullet and yank it out as hard as you can. I can't! It's just like removing a splinter. There is a hell of a lot more blood here than a splinter! And I can see clear inside your shoulder! Ah, don't show me that! Close your eyes! Close them! Now feel for the bullet. Pinch it hard in between your fingers. Again, pull. Jeez, ah! that was disgusting! Are you okay? I thought we'd be halfway across the country by now. Well, we're out of West Dallas. I want to stop running. We gotta lay low. I'm sick of running. We gotta keep and moving. Driving. I'm sick of the car. I want to settle down. We settle down, and I'm dead. So this is it. This. Is our life? Sugar, come on. God, I should have left you when I had the chance. Look, they're looking for us in Oklahoma. We're fine so long here as we stay in Kansas. We'll find an apartment. Something nice. Oh, read to me, Sugar. Oh, I love when you read to me. I am not in the mood. Oh, come on. I've read them all. And the one I'm working on now ain't done. Just read me something. You read, read me them anything. All. I don't care. Okay. But I ain't done. I understand. You've read the story of Jesse James, of how he lived and died. If you're still in need of something to read, here's the story of Bonnie and Clyde. Nothing rhymes with Clyde and Bonnie. Well, what about... Yeah, go ahead. Bonnie and Clyde are the Barrow Gang. I'm sure you have all read how they rob and steal and those who squeal are usually found dying or dead. Like that there bank teller. Bam, bam, bam! There is lots of untruths to these write-ups. They are not as ruthless as that. Their nature is raw. They hate all the law. The stool pigeons, spotters, and rats. Well, you've got the lingo, baby. You've got the lingo. <laughs> hey, that's good. You should send that into the papers. I'm sure they'll print it. Really? You really think they'd print it? They'll print anything that has to do with us. Oh my god. I'm gonna be published! They call them cold-blooded killers. They say they are heartless and mean. But I say this with pride. That I once knew Clyde, when he was honest and upright and clean. What are you Hello, doing here, Governor? The hussy has killed four people, and they're printing her poetry like she's Emily frickin' Dickinson. <laughs> we look like fools. I got a warden who can't keep criminals locked up, and a sheriff who can't catch them when they escape. In all fairness... Fairness? <laughs> two police officers and two civilians are dead. 
In public opinion, is Bonnie and Clyde are heroes. <laughs> there is no such thing as fairness, Sheriff. I swear to you, we are on their trail, Governor. I've read the reports. You have no idea where the hell they are. You know what I'm working with here. I got no money, no resources. <laughs> I got three deputies sharing two shotguns. We almost had him in a roadblock, but the guy drives like the devil. Before you know it, he's at the state line. That's because Clyde steals the fastest cars out there where you drive the heaviest cars built. Your police cars weren't built for speed, they were built for back roads. Which is why even if you caught them, you couldn't catch them. Who the hell are you? Frank Hamer. I contacted retired Texas Ranger Captain Frank Hamer and convinced him to accept a commission. A commission to do what? Hunt down Bonnie and Clyde. Gentlemen. True Detective says they're looking for us in Louisiana and Missouri. Oh, and listen to this. Escaped with Bonnie Parker, the ravishing redhead. That's you, sugar. God, ravishing. <laughs> I like that. It's more than beautiful. It's... It's you. <laughs> you know, I wish they had pictures to go along with this. <gasps> they should have pictures to go along with this. We don't need no pictures, baby. Pictures is the last thing we need. This job is as hard as it is. Just seems a shame not to have a nice big picture of me right along where it says ravishing redhead. <gasps> or the cover. I want my picture on the cover. <sighs> Who do we got to hold up to get my picture on that cover? <gasps> you don't need no picture, baby. Besides, once someone sees your face for the first time, ain't no way they're gonna forget it. <laughs> oh, please, you're just partial. Hell, I am. I started thinking about my Bonnie. You wrote a song for me? <laughs> From the minute I wake up. Oh, you are so in love, baby. <laughs> and that feeling is the best I ever had. Ravishing and the song, this is a fun day. She is in my shaving mirror. She is in my coffee cup. I must be in love or else I'm going mad. This just might be the Are you going to keep interrupting me? I'm sorry. I can't sing if you're going to do I that. I won't say another. There's a rhythm, a flow to these things. I understand. <laughs> I would like to write to Bonnie. Tell the girl the way I feel But I'm better with a car than with a pen Used to be I'm only happy When I'm set behind the wheel Now I don't care if I ever drive again That girl's got something Nothing scares her Only piece of luck that's ever come my way Can't wait to tell her How much I've missed her Feeling sorry for James Cagney Cause he's never I start dreaming about Bonnie Just as soon as I'm asleep They're the kind of dreams that keep you in your bed I am making love to Bonnie And that sure beats counting sheep Got a feeling there are good times up ahead. You hear something? No. Lights. Oh, 
he's here. Glad. Were you followed? No, I, I, I swear. <gasps> Just Blanche. Where's your horse? They're fashionable and they're comfortable in the car. Son of a bitch, you can't even. <laughs> your brother came and tried and talked you back in. Blanche. To turn yourself up. I turn myself in, Blanche, and I get the chair. And as happy as that would make you, I'm gonna pass. Well, take a look at this place. <laughs> <gasps> oh, hey, Buck! Did you hear True Detective? They called me a ravishing redhead! <laughs> Redhead, please. That was not a judgment, Lord. Just a professional opinion. to give yourself up, okay? You've got to. Uh, Mama, you remember Clyde? Been a while. Uh, Bonnie does nothing but talk about you. She's always telling me how much she loves you and misses you, and I told her that we can come by and visit anytime she wants. We can always find a way. We will always find a way. Mrs. Parker, I love Bonnie more than anything in this world, and oh, and uh, we wanted to give you this. There's $50 there. Look, we know how hard times is, and we want to help any way we can. I, uh, I'll give you all some privacy. I know how hard this must be for you, Mama. But I swear, Clyde is a good man. Listen to me. He loves me Bonnie. like a poet. He loves me. Bonnie. I'm okay. I just missed you, is all. Listen to me. Okay, Ted says if you come in now, you will only get a prison sentence. Mama. And while that is bad still in all, it is nothing compared to what may happen before this is over. Mama! I'd be happier with you in prison than like you are, honey. I am not gonna leave him! Listen to me! I can't live like this. I cannot live knowing you could be dead any minute. I am the only one alive, Mama. Me and Claude are the only ones alive in this whole damn place. Everybody else is walking around dead. But me and Claude. I gotta go. No, I gotta no. go, Mama. Don't leave, Bonnie, don't leave. I'll see you again soon. Come home with me. I'm begging you. Please. We'll get a message to you, and we will meet someplace soon. No. I promise. No, don't leave. Bonnie! And now I've got Hoover and Roosevelt breathing down my damn neck. Why the hell are they getting involved? Because Barrow and his brother just broke into the West Texas Armory. What'd they take? Enough weapons to start a small war, including three Browning automatic rifles. Holy, Holy shit! It's the end of small town thinking. Say goodbye to 45s. Now our dreams are so much bigger. Needs are gonna change our lives. We won't get to heaven, so let's raise a little hail. This is Bob Alcorn, best sharpshooter this side of the Mississippi. 
What the hell are you planning? I want to walk down Main Street with Clyde Barrow's head on a stick. Just get me within 300 yards of him, and I'll put a bullet in his neck. And since when do we get in the business of murdering people? Topeka Sheriff's Office said they had a bank robbery a few hours ago. The Barrow Gang. How do they know? Parker signed autographs. Another teller was killed. Why do folks want to be heroes? Why do they love standing tall? Why don't they just hand it over? It ain't their money after all. We won't get to heaven, so let's raise a little hell. Come on! Missouri police report that two couples matching the description of the Barrow Gang have been living at 1521 Joplin Street for the past three weeks. And get this, when the garage door is open, one neighbor reported seeing what she described as a box of guns. If we drive through the night, we can be in Joplin by midday tomorrow. We don't have jurisdiction in Missouri. I don't give a crap about jurisdiction. I was hired to do a job. Let's go get them. All I want to do is save her That is all that matters now Clyde took everything God gave her I won't rest until I finally see Barrel die Big time's just around the corner I can feel it my bones, we are gonna be more famous than a hundred Al Capones. We won't get to heaven, so let's raise a little hell. I'm coming for ya, been a long time coming, so let's raise You're as crazy as he is. You keep talking like that, and you might just be the first person I kill. The two of you deserve each other. <laughs> yes, we do. I don't understand. You're an attractive woman. I'm sure you could have any man you set your sights on. Why are you here? Why are you here, Blanche? I'm trying to stop my husband from getting himself killed. For some stupid reason, he feels obliged to be here. Maybe there's just not enough excitement to keep him at home. Our lives would be perfect if it wasn't for you and Clyde. God, you just think you're so much better than everybody else, don't you? I'm just trying to be the best person I can be in the eyes of the good Lord. And has that been fun, Blanche? Are you enjoying life? I am thankful for every day I spend on God's good earth. God, take a look around, Blanche. God's good earth is dried up. It's dead. You are so completely and utterly lost. All I can do is pray for you. Don't waste your time, Blanche. I have everything I want. You know they're gonna kill Clyde when they catch him. If, if they catch him. They're probably gonna kill you, too. They better. You can't tell me you ain't scared. Dying ain't so bad Not if you both go together Only when one's left But a short and loving life that ain't so bad. I only hope to God that I go first. I couldn't live on that. 
memories I'm sorry but I'm not that strong There are some things in life you can't replace A love like ours don't happen twice When all his days are through Sugar. Hey, baby. <laughs> Where were you? Prescott. What were you doing in Prescott? We went to get lunch. And rob the bank. <laughs> Police near caught us, but you should have seen Clyde drive. Man! Ford Sedan Deluxe. It just don't get no better. <laughs> baby, wait until you see what I got you. You have got to try some of this cake. Did you steal it? No. I, I bought it. You know with the money I took from the bank. That is the most heavenly thing <laughs> I've ever tasted in my entire life. I got it at a general store in Texarkana. The guy said they'd just come out. It's called a, a twin key. And that, folks, was the Goodrich Zippers Orchestra featuring the incomparable Henry Burr. Now, how about a dance? <gasps> Baby, it's our song! Well, sing for us, sugar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful redhead who... Ravishing! The ravishing redhead who held up your bank <laughs> will now hold up your heart with her rendition of How About a Dance. <clears throat> How about a dance? What do you say? I got some moves that I'd love to show you. Is she something? Let's find a spot and dance the night. How about a dance? It's always fun. Come over here, let me get to know ya. Can't beat a pen to lift your spirits on. You look so handsome. How about a dance? What's going on, baby? The laws are outside. What? Oh my God. Shut her up! You're crazy! We're gonna get killed! Shut her We're up! We're gonna die, Katie! Shut up! We're gonna die! No, shut, shut up, Lance! We're gonna die! Oh, there's one behind the tree! Oh, there's another behind the white car! Get down! Two more coming, run back! We're gonna... oh. What are you gonna do, Clyde? 
We're gonna shoot our way out of here, just like we done in Belleville. No, 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 God, please, no! Fuck, no. if we get downstairs into the garage, no. we're gonna get the automatics out of the Don't car, okay? To it. And then we're gonna open up guns fires! No. And it'll scare the shit out of them! No. Once he gets that, you start shooting from up here! Okay, baby! No, no. We're gonna get out of this. I promise. It all comes so quick and happens so fast. You're there, and they're there. They've got the guns, and you've got the guns. And you know it's gonna be you or them, and you don't have time to think about anything else. You grit your teeth and come down on it, and it's over and done. You kill the man, and you see him lie there like that, if you have time to wait and look, but, but his life's gone, and you took it. And he'll never be able to live and breathe and laugh again, but if he beat you to it, you'd be lying there like that. It gets mixed up, okay? The whole business, them killing you, you killing them. You wonder why you were even born. Why, why anybody was born? Why God should bother with the whole mess? Right, Sheriff? Is that better, sugar? <laughs> My leg's burning. Are you gonna be able to walk? I don't think so. But they treatment. They're on our tail, Blanche. He needs to be in the hospital. We can't go to a hospital. He needs a doctor. She's past the doctor, Blanche. He's your brother. You're flesh and blood. You're just gonna leave him die here. You better come with us, Blanche. I am not gonna leave him here. Go, go with him, baby. No. You're an animal. Come on, Jenny. You just gotta stay with me here. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, don't you be sorry. I, I, I didn't think it would be like this. No, we're, we're gonna move on and we're gonna we're gonna get past this. You just gotta hang in there, okay? I, I, I just wanted to get us started. And we're gonna get you well, and we're gonna go far away. You, you remember New Mexico, Dad? I do, baby. I do. No one needs to feel alone. Turn to him, and when you do, his light will shine, and peace will come to you. No, Buck, no, 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 Buck, please, no. God's all. Always open, he'll not turn you away. <laughs> he is there to lead the way. You killed him. You. He was a good man. Each and you night and day. You were under arrest for the aiding and abetting of known fugitives, armed robbery, bank robbery, suspicion of murder, and conspiracy to commit murder. God's arms are always open. Your voice is always heard. Even though your prayers are silent prayers, she hears every word. No one needs to feel Oh, my gosh.
We got the pictures from the Cameron Joplin. Look at them. They look like they're celebrating. And this is Bonnie and her mother. What's with that rabbit? This wasn't taken that long ago, which means they came back here so Bonnie could see her ma. When's the last time they were in Dallas? October, and before that, April. Easter explains the rabbit. Well, what were they here for in October? Halloween? Don't reckon you got any pictures of them with a pumpkin. What's the date in October? The 14th. That's Bonnie's mother's birthday. You're telling me two murderers are risking capture just so they can see their folks? I think so. You haven't staked out the parents yet? We have not had the money or the manpower. Get a wiretap on the parents' phones. We'll take shifts staking out the homes. Get those pictures to the papers. We'll find out where they're meeting, scout the route. We can find a good vantage point and hit the car on the road with automatics. We're not going to open fire on a moving car. Yes, we are. No. We're going to try for an arrest. They shot their way through nine officers in Joplin, including a sheriff. Sheriff? Clyde Barrow's got no intention of giving himself up. Ever. What about Bonnie? Her fate was sealed the day she busted him out of Beeston. Next time they see their folks will be their last. I still see the apple cheek girl that you were Hiding in treetops and feeding the birds Making up rhymes how you love It must be great to be called the It Girl Your face on every magazine that's where I'm gonna end up one day Trust me I wanna be her, I wanna be her Dressed in sky clear I'll I can see me, I wanna be you Main attraction at the picture show It's gonna take at least 15, 16 hours from here to West Dallas Baby, if we don't leave soon, our folks are going to be standing in the middle of the woods all alone. And I know my mama's bringing food. How am I going to face my folks? I killed Buck. No. They got to no, hate me. No, you didn't. No. It's baby. my fault. Buck made his own decision. I should be dead too. We are going to be, baby. I finished our poem. I'm not in the mood. Someday they'll go down together. They'll bury them side by side. To few, it'll be grief. To the law, a relief. But it's death for Bonnie and Clyde. Sorry, baby. Nothing rhymes with Clyde and Bonnie. <laughs> 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 Seems you get to live your life just once If that's how it's gonna be And I'd rather breathe in life than dusty Bonnie. 
You know, if you say it, honey. Oh. A lot of folks say it, honey. <laughs> My ma says it, honey. They're bringing biscuits and honey. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, baby.